Hello and welcome to our tutorial on logic gates. Today we are going to explore the building blocks of digital electronics known as the logic gates. These are the fundamental components that make up complex circuits in computers, smartphones and all sorts of electronic devices. So first of all let us learn what are logic gates. Logic gates are electronic circuits which have one or more inputs and a single output. The output of the logic gate is determined by a specific logic function of its inputs. These functions are based on Boolean algebra which is the mathematics for logic. So now let us talk about the types of logic gates. There are basically seven types of logic gates. The AND gate, the OR gate, the NOT gate, NAND gate, NOR gate, XOR gate and XNOR gate. Out of these, the first three that is AND, OR and NOT are called the basic logic gates, NAND and NOR are called the universal logic gates. Once we have talked about the different type of logic gates, let us understand what a logic function is and how it is represented. A logic function like AND or NOT is represented by a table which is called the truth table. Each logic gate has a truth table which is a tabular representation of all possible input combinations and their corresponding outputs. Let us look at the truth table of a AND gate. So you can see over here that the AND gate has got two inputs and one output. With two inputs, there are four possible combinations, and therefore the input to the AND gate can be 0, 0, or a 0, 1, or a 1, 0, or a 1, 1. For each input, there is a definite output. So for 0, 0, the output is 0. For 0, 1, the output is 0. For 1, 0, the output is 0. And for 1, 1, the output is 1. So if A and B are true, then only the value of Q, that is the output, is true. If any one of the input A, B is false, then the output is false. This is the logic of AND gate. Similarly, we can talk about the OR gate. The OR gate shown here has two inputs A and B and an output Q. The possible combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1 are shown over here. Along with it, the logic for the output is for 0, 0, the output is 0. For 0, 1, the output is 1. For 1, 0, the output is 1. And for 1, 1, the output is 1. So if A and B both are false, then only the output is false. If any one of the inputs A and B is true, then the output is true. Let us talk about the third basic logic gate and that is the NOT gate. A NOT gate has a single input and has a single output. The output of the NOT gate is the complement of the input, meaning by that if A is 0, then the output is 1, and if A is 1, then the output is 0. So this is a brief description of the three basic logic gates. Now let us perform an experiment which will show you how these logic gates function. So here is a board which has got all the three basic logic gates, the AND gate, the OR gate and the NOT gate. To operate 
these gates, you require some power supply. So that is applied over here. This is logic level 1 for the input and this is logic level 0 for the output. Now if we connect the input of the AND gate to 0 and the second input to the AND gate to 0. So both the inputs I am making 0 and I measure the output voltage or the output is indicated by an LED connected over here. Then the output, the output of the function is a 0. So both the inputs are 0, the output is 0. Now let us take one of the inputs to 1 and try to see what is the output. So it is still 0. Then we will switch the input back and try to see what is the output it is 0 and now finally we will put both the inputs to 1 and we find that the output has become 1. So that proves the truth table of the logic gate which is AND gate. Now let us connect the OR gate to the circuit. Both the inputs are connected to a 0 and therefore the output is 0. We will connect one of the inputs to 1. The output is 1. Now you can see the output LED is glowing. Now we switch over the two inputs and see the output. The output is still 1. And finally, both the inputs are 1, then the output is 1. So that verifies the OR gate operation. Now let us talk about the NOT gate operation. So we will put the input as 0 and the output will become 1. So that you can see over here. And if I make the input as 1, then the output is 0. So that verifies the NOT gate. So finally, we can see that the all the three logic gates can be verified with the help of this circuit. So the, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much for viewing this tutorial. Please like and subscribe our channel. Thank you very much.